What? Wait, so you're telling me she was calling his stagger, Yuji stagger lame, but she has nails, nails and a hammer. That looks pretty cool though. The animation on that. Welcome. Welcome back, my friends. Today we're watching episode 3 of Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm really excited to get back into it. As always, links to my Patreon and the Discord are in the description if you're interested. Let's get right into it. I guess we're gonna meet the new third year in this episode. The girl. Oh, sorry, did I say third year? I meant first year. It's a pretty rich school, though. Pawn request. Kind of suits him. I like it. She is not ugly though. She seems to be a bit rough, but nonetheless, I don't think she's that bad looking. Yeah, I'd like to know as well. Kugisaki mm Nobara. -hmm. I mean, she she looks pretty. <笑>見るからに胃もくさい。絶対ガキの頃鼻くそ食ってたタイプね。名前だけって私偉そうな男ってムリ。きっと重要まみれの顔目にひつけたりするんだが。オッケー。シーズクイックジャッジ。行くで
still though, just hammer and nails. Kind of. That's lame. I guess because there's more of a concentration of people and all those negative emotions. Mm, beautiful. In proportion to the population. Ah, that's gotta hurt. Nice job. Or is it done? Nope. Oh, it's a child. Hmm. And she's got a high opinion of herself. Uh, oh. Very hairy. Why would it? <laughs> so chan is she her sister or a friend? Yuji Yuji isn't overthinking stuff, he just acts. Which sometimes is good, but sometimes also bad. I think they'd make a good team. And we also need to see more of Fushiguro. Straw dog. Crazy. Oh wow. Okay. I think they would really complement each other's skills. So a friend. Oh my god, she actually looks different as a child. That's something I really don't like about anime or, or manga. Is that as children, they they look just the same. Man, there's a lot of hatred for her. And we know the reason why. I hope she's still alive. Somehow it seems to me that she died. そういう意味では、あんたにも感謝してる。私が死んでも、私だけが生き残っても明るい未来はなかったわ。ありがとう。Mm. She doesn't like to show her true feelings, but that's understandable. Just takes time and trust. Uh, they're, they're gonna be a great team. Uh. What? That kind of worries me? Was that a premonition of the future? Because it said three first years. So it's gotta be them, right? But this episode was over so fast. I didn't even notice it was going along that quickly. But yeah, it was great. I enjoyed it. 
Uh, I'm already loving the chemistry between Yuji and Nagoro. Nagoro? Yes. Always takes time for me to remember names. Uh, but yeah, she is an interesting personality, to say the least. Uh, she's very strong-willed and tough. But yeah, to me, it seems uh, that that toughness is just a, just a facade to protect her own feelings and hide them as well. And this Saori-chan, Saori her dear old friend, uh, plays a lot into that. And I think she had a huge impact on how she grew up and how she became the person she is now. Hopefully she will come back into the story later on. That I said, I hope she's not dead. That could be an interesting surprise or a twist in the plot. And if that were the case, then how would Nagoro react? Uh, I think that that would lead to some huge changes in her character and in her actions. But yeah, that's just uh, speculation. I, I don't know. I Maybe she's not that and just gone, not in Tokyo anymore, somewhere else. Who knows? But uh, it would be great to see her come back into the story at some point. Because it's an interesting dynamic, for sure. Those villagers, they were very non-outsider friendly, I'd say. That's putting it a bit lightly. Like the hatred they had for her. Where, where did it come from? I mean, I guess city people are different from country people. But it's not like you have to immediately exclude and segregate them. It's very, very harsh. Something must have happened in the past for them to be that against her. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, also, as I said, I like the dynamic between, or the, the chemistry between Yuji and Nagoro. They seem to share some common interests, especially when it comes to food, and they both grew up the countryside. So, yeah. Also, as I said, I think they greatly complement each other's skills and approach to combat. Because Yuji is the kind of uh, act guy. Like, he does stuff instead of overthinking or uh, intensely strategizing before even making a move. He just goes in guns blazing and hopes for the best <laughs> which as i said it's good in some situation it's it's very practical in some situations but in others it could be detrimental and that's where nagro comes in she's quite the opposite as we've seen she's the thinking type not to downplay or discredit yuji he also things, but you know what I mean. When it comes to this sort of stuff and combat skills, she's just more uh, more astute and more tactical, I guess. Yeah, and that as well can be very uh, yeah good overall but at the same time as we saw in that situation she was she froze she didn't know what to do and she dropped her weapons which is very dangerous because at any time someone could come at her and, and she would be unarmed or was she unarmed did she have an ace up her sleeve she did do that doll thing 
uh, what's it called? The puppet. I forgot. Get there. Voodoo. Voodoo. Yeah, sorry. Voodoo doll. And that's an interesting technique. Uh, but does she have anything else up her sleeve? That would be interesting to see. So, yeah, I guess if they would team up, and they will 100%, their chemistry is gonna change, I think, as well. Uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool to see them fight together. About Fushiguro, I don't know yet. Um, we have to see more of his capabilities and how he fits into the team. It's gonna be exciting. I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what you think. And subscribe if you have not yet. I'll see you, hopefully, in the next one. Enjoy your day, take care, and bye.